Hi everyone, it's Avery. I am back for another Eurovision reaction video. Today is 1958. So if you haven't checked out my channel before, um, I'm going to be doing a year-by-year -year reaction to every single Eurovision contest and ranking the entries. And this has kind of been like a dream project of mine for a while. Um, and I'm gonna just go for it now. But thank you to everybody who's left so much love, so much kindness on my previous videos. Um, I really, really appreciate it, and you all have given me some great video ideas that I will be working with in the future, so um, thank you so much for that. Quick note is I do, uh, I don't post, you know, every day. That's really tough. Um, I am American, and I work on an American schedule, so it's 45 to 50 hours a week. Um, it's a great job, but it's a lot of work, so I have a very busy, very busy work life, and it's a little bit tough to get these rolling on a daily basis, but I'll try my best to do, you know, one or two a week. Today, I'm going to do two in a row. I'm going to do 58, record 59 right after, and upload them both tomorrow. Well, today, now that they're up. Words are hard. But anyways, I'm going to get to the 1958 reaction. This year is kind of middle of the road for me. I really like a few of the entries, but I find a lot of the entries to have just really sad, not the best melodies, um, where the performance is good, but the song itself, I'm left wondering, is this really the best? So I'm about to go through the entries. But again, this is all out of love, no spite, no hate to any of these songs. Um, and it's all out of my personal taste and my ear for music. But uh, stay tuned and I'm gonna grab my headphones. All right, I've got my headphones on. I've got the jazzy intro for 58. So I enjoy this intro. Very smooth, very nice to listen to. And let's get into my songs now. <laughs> Dogbo, The Diary. I don't love this song. To me, the melody is really jumpy. The singer jumps from these higher to lower notes, and it doesn't really form a pretty melody to me. So that's why I don't like this song. I just don't enjoy the actual composition of it that much. I do think the singer is really charming, though, and she uses the prop well. So I don't really have any complaints on her end. It's just not one of my favorite songs ever. Doesn't do much for me. Marie Brocken, I love her. I think she sings this song well, but there's so many long drawn out notes in this song that it just feels extremely slow. And it feels like it takes forever, even though it's, you know, within the song limits of the contest. So this song's definitely not one of my favorites, although I do think Cory Brocken gives it a really strong vocal performance. The Austrian entry this year is my third from last. I don't really understand the composition of this one either. The melody, again, doesn't have much of a flow to me, and nor does the sections of singing interspersed with sections of lots of music, and then it goes back to vocals. And it just doesn't sound like a very songy song to me, but it isn't a song that's so unique that I love it either. So that's why I have it third from last. But I do think the vocalist is great, so I have to give it that. Solange Belly. I don't hate this song. I know it did poorly in the contest. It's very middle of the road for me. I love the heavy vibrato in her voice. And I do enjoy the orchestral performance, but it's a bit of a slow burn again. One of the more boring songs of the year, I think. So that's why I have it middle to last. This cracks me up. Margot Hilsche and her gimmicks. The pageant dress, the record. I gotta give it credit. I mean, she's really going for it. And this is early on in Eurovision. You know, gimmicks weren't a huge thing yet. Although her Margot had done a television, or uh, not television, telephone the year before. So it's cute. I don't hate it. Not my favorite song, but I do think the performance is memorable. And that's kind of why I have it in the middle and not towards the back. Foot the clock. I love his voice. This song is jazzy. I don't necessarily love this song, but I do love the nice lilt to the rhythm here. I love the jazziness, and I love Fred Leclerc's vocals. I just love the depth in his voice, and it's a little bit raspy, just raspy enough to not sound too grating. 
And I think he does a pretty good job, so I have him in the middle this year. I love Lisa Asia in this entry. Her previous entries seem so serious, and she seems so kind of restrained because she's focusing so much on the vocals. And here she does that too, but she looks like she's having so much more fun. So I love to see that in her performance here, and I do think it's a great second place this year. So I gotta give her lots of credit for that. I don't really understand the song. I think it's about food, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it, yeah, it's sweet, and her voice is always a joy to listen to. I love Vila Shanna. One of the very early Scandinavian entries. I adore this song. The minor melody in the chorus section is so charming. The vocals are so soft and elegant. Yeah, I really enjoyed that entry, and to me, it did super well in the contest. I would rank it even higher than it did in the contest at third, but I do enjoy it. You know, Andre Pedro in this is so vocally proficient. He just has so much control in his voice. It's this soft, tender, gentle song, and I think it's very well performed. Not my style at all. I've said it in previous videos. I'm not a big fan of lullabies or cute music, but I think he performs it so well that he's a very deserved winner. And of course, my number one has to be Volare or Nel Liu di Ginta di Volare Oh this is a classic, and um, it brings back good memories of me. I've been fortunate enough to go to Italy twice. Uh, one was with my family, and then another is I went with a choir. Um, when I used to sing in lots of choirs when I was younger, I went with my choir, and we got to sing in Rome. We got to sing in Orvieto, Assisi, um, the Amalfi Coast, Positano, Capri, and all of those amazing cities. So... This entry, because Volare become, became such a popular entry and such a popular song in Italy, um, you know, this is a song that we would kind of hear because we were listening to older Italian music, my friends and I. So I really enjoy that entry. It reminds me of a really, really wonderful time in my life. And I will always have a lot of respect for Volare, which I think a lot of people should. It's a super strong entry and it's my winner but I think that there's some other really great songs this year. Check the contest out. It's definitely a sleepier contest, but it's also on the short end. So maybe if you need to just chill out, 58's a great year for that. Have a great day, night. I can never tell, uh, but enjoy the video and I'll be posting some more. So check them out.